Now the principles and aims of the Republican Congress movement are opposed to the teachings of the church. Its principles are socialist and communistic. It aims at setting up a socialist republic, evidently on the Russian model. And one of its weapons for achieving this is class hatred and class warfare. Socialism is neither Protestant nor Catholic, Christian nor free thinker, Buddhist, Mahometan nor Jew, it is only human. We of the socialist working class realise that, as we suffer together we must work together that we may enjoy together. We reject the firebrand of capitalist warfare and offer you the olive branch of brotherhood and justice, to and for all. In the 1790s, many of the founding fathers of Irish republicanism were themselves Protestant, but in 1930s Ulster, Protestant meant unionist. One of the unique features of the Republican Congress was the level of support it enjoyed from Ulster Protestants. And arguably, this was to be the last time they would seriously engage with Irish republicanism. In 1934, trade unionists from the Shankill Road and other Protestant areas of Belfast visited the grave of James Connolly at Arbor Hill in Dublin before taking part in the annual Wolf Tone commemoration at Bowdenstown. This was a highly unusual situation for Ulster Protestants to find themselves in. Normally they would be hostile to the Free State, to Republicanism and to the Socialism that James Connolly put forward in his own lifetime. From the time of its inception, the Republican Congress faced opposition from a wide variety of sources. On one hand, you had the IRA, hostile to an organisation that included many former comrades. You had the Blue Shirts, naturally opposed to any manifestation of socialism in Irish society. But most importantly, undoubtedly, was the Catholic Church, incredibly hostile to communism in the early years of the 1930s. And the amount of radicals is a, is a small enough element in Irish society. Um, the establishment, the church, the government, the media, uh, it's in their interests to promote this idea of reds under the bed.